An astonishing new book has laid bare the rivalries and eccentricities of Donald Trump and the chaos inside his crisis-riddled White House administration. Thirty p.m. where he eats cheeseburgers and watches three TV sets at once while ranting about the media. Having conducted more than 200 interviews over 18 months and with unprecedented access to the White House, Wolf Lays reveals with incredible detail the thoughts of Trump and those within his innermost circle. Wolf writes, if he was not having his 6.30 dinner with Steve Bannon, then, more to his liking, he was in bed by that time with a cheeseburger, watching his three screens and making phone calls The phone was his true contact point with the world to a small group of friends, who charted his rising and falling levels of agitation through the evening and then compared notes with one another Bannon Trump's former chief strategist described the notorious meeting between the president's son and a group of Russians offering dirt on Hillary Clinton as treasonous. According to The Guardian, at the time Bannon told Wolf, the three senior guys in the campaign thought it was a good idea to meet with a foreign government inside Trump Tower in the conference room on the 25th floor with no lawyers. Trump has since hit back with an official statement claiming Bannon has lost his mind. According to Wolf's book, Trump seemed sanguine towards the end of the campaign. With an eye towards the creation of a new Trump television network, Trump stated, I can be the most famous man in the world. This is bigger than I ever dreamed of. I didn't think about losing, because it isn't losing. According to Wolf's recounting of events, Trump's actual victory on the night of November 7 came a shock to both the candidate and his wife. He wrote, shortly after 8 p.m. on election night, when the unexpected trend, Trump might actually win, seemed confirmed, Don Jr. Melania was in tears and not of joy. Wolf describes Ivanka's relationship with her father as like a business relationship unconventional and transactional. He states that behind his back, she also mocked his notorious comb over. Wolf writes, she often described the mechanics behind it to friends, an absolutely clean pate, a contained island after scalp reduction surgery, surrounded by a furry circle of hair around the sides and front, from which all ends are drawn up to meet in the center and then swept back and secured by a stiffening spray. The color, she would point out to comical effect, was from a product called Just For Men, the longer it was left on, the darker it got. Wolf claims that former British PM Tony Blair visited Kushner and his aide during a White House visit in February. 
During this meeting, Blair shared a juicy rumor that the British had the Trump campaign staff under surveillance, monitoring its telephone calls and other communications and possibly even Trump himself. He claimed Blair shared the information because he was angling to be Trump's Middle East envoy. He added that Blair explained it was likely Barack Obama officials hadn't directly asked the Brits to spy, but would have made it clear to the spies that it would be helpful if they did, The Guardian reported. Wolf writes, he reprimanded the housekeeping staff for picking up his shirt from the floor, if my shirt is on the floor, it's because I want it on the floor. He had a long time fear of being poisoned, one reason why he liked to eat at McDonald's, nobody knew he was coming, and the food was safely pre-made. Also, he would let housekeeping know when he wanted his sheets done, and he would strip his own bed. He writes, balancing risk against reward, both Jared and Ivanka decided to accept roles in the West Wing over the advice of almost everyone they knew. It was a joint decision by the couple, and, in some sense, a joint job. Between themselves, the two have made an earnest deal, if sometime in the future the opportunity arose, she'd be the one to run for president. The first woman president, Ivanka had entertained, would not be Hillary Clinton, it would be Ivanka Trump. We pay for your stories. Do you have a story for The Sun online news team? Email us at tips at the sun.